the man, the myth, the legend, the man that owns the NBA record book. He's a two-time NBA world champion, and he is the most dominant player to ever step foot on an NBA court. Now, for those of you guys that have been around for a long time, you guys know back when I started my channel in 2K17, my first player was not only a post scorer, but it was based off of Wilt Chamberlain. So today we're kind of going back to our roots, man. I don't know who's been around for that long. Let me know down in the comments when you guys subscribe to the channel. All right, what sub count was I at? What 2K, what, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20, whatever it was. Let me know down in the comments when you guys first subscribe. Let me know if you guys remember my Wilt Chamberlain player back in 2K17. Oh, that is, wow, that's, that's memory lane right there. But let's get into this build. This is a 99.9 overall legend Wilt Chamberlain build, okay? Now, we're going to get into these attributes. Oh, wanted to mention also, I understand my name is LeBron James. You guys have to realize... You can't change your player's name. Once you create a player this year, you can't change the name. I don't know why they did that, but that's how it is this year. So ignore the name. It's not a big deal, but it's a paint beast post scoring takeover. I mean, you see the attributes. Basically, it's a finishing and defending pie chart, but we upgraded the post moves and the post fade as well. Now, before this build hit legend, it was okay, but now that it's legend, it changes everything because it. we have those shooting badges that we need to be able to fade consistently. You know, before we only had the one shooting badge, it was tough. But now you could see 32 finishing, 11 shooting, 13 playmaking, and 31 defense slash rebounding. So we have essentially every single badge we could possibly want on this build, especially, you know, this type of build. We have everything we want from, you know, the post badges like back down, drop step, or deep hooks to the layup and finishing badges. And, you know, sometimes I might want to go with the, the Lob City finisher, but we're not really grinding rep anymore now that we're legends. So it just makes more sense to go like relentless or put back boss. Kind of depends on the day, I guess. We'll leave it on the relentless finisher for now. Now, the biggest thing with this is the fact that now I can get gold quick draw. Quick draw not only affects your jump shot, but it affects like your post fade and your hop shot and all that stuff. If you don't have quick draw on gold, those shots are really, really slow and they get contested really easily. That's why this build wasn't, like I said, it was decent, but it wasn't great. Now that I have the, the 11 shooting badges, I mean, deep phase gold, dead eye gold. You know, we could even throw on range extender a little bit because that even helps with deep mid ranges. And the quick draw gold, I mean, listen, it's everything you could want for this type of build. Now, playmaking, if you're running threes then definitely gonna want to put on break starter if you're running fives definitely gonna want to put on break starter but since we're not i'm gonna just leave it on dream shake and just see what it does but besides that definitely post spin quick first step unpluckable and bailout gotta have them all right now defense here's the thing most post scoring builds in this game are shooting and finishing pie chart which is a really good build let me let me just say it's a really good build but with this build, getting so many defensive badges and getting them Hall of Fame, I mean, look, it's everything you could want. All the rebounding badges, plus all the big man defensive badges like Pogo Stick, Rim Protector, all that. And then, of course, you got your Intimidator, Interceptor, and then we threw on the Bronze Chase Down, Bronze Clamps, Bronze Brick Wall. Overall, it's just, I feel like you have every single badge you could want. And it really does play like a Wilt, a prime Wilt Chamberlain build. Okay, let me clarify that. This is prime wilt a younger wilt most people when they think of wilt they think of the lakers wilt that was more of like a defensive or rebounding specialist he still scored like 20 a game or whatever but i'm talking about prime wilt when he was putting up 50 40 every single night bro averaging 50 for a season averaging 44 for a season averaging 38 for a season dude was a straight up bucket on top of that arguably the most athletic player in NBA history. If you actually go do your research and don't just, you know, listen to that, the misinformation out there in the internet that, you know, oh, Wilt played against five, six white guys. Like, it's just not true. It's just, it, at this point, it's more of a troll and a joke. If you really go do your research, the dude was an absolute freak of nature ahead of his time. I mean, the dude ran a 4.640, had a 50-inch vertical, could bench press over 500 pounds. Overall, the dude was just a freak of nature, all right? So we tried to make this build indicative of that. Now, we couldn't obviously get like a 90-something speed on a center, but we have a 65 speed on our post score, which is way higher. Most post scorers have like a 30, maybe in the 40s. We're in the 60, you know, midway in the 60s. That's pretty good. Plus, with the gold quick first step and stuff, the 99 strength, like, you know, overall, it just feels like a very good representation of Wilt in NBA 2K20. It's the best you could possibly make it. Obviously, hit Legend lets us get those extra badges that really gives us that push over the edge. But as you can see, I mean, we hit the deep post fade. 
we you know we're dominating inside we're grabbing boards over two people look at kick it out ball goes up bully one dude grab the rebound kick it out again one thing i noticed that a lot of people really seem to be i don't know just adapting to is how height really affects your player this year so on the twos for example this game i'm going against a rebounding wing so he's probably six nine six eight and listen he's got good defense rebounding wings are beasts this year but to have a four to five inch height advantage every game plus max wingspan plus all these hall of fame badges to shoot hooks and fades and all that type of stuff you're going to be dominant now of course occasionally you'll come across a you know a 7-3 glass lock he's going to cause you a lot of problems but for the most part people don't run with those tall builds anymore because they're basically just a complete liability on offense unless you make a post score a 7-3 post score but then you're pretty slow and, and, and it's not defensively it's kind of a weakness there's always something you could go to but my point is most people this year on the even even on the twos they're running like a rebounding wing as the as the big man or they're running like now the new build is like a mid-range specialist that people are running you know basically a lot of people run shooting and defending builds at the two but they only go up to like six eight six nine so you're gonna have a height advantage all the time but even if you go against a glass lock or something, people most people aren't making 7'3 glass locks. They're like 6'11, 6'10, maybe 7 foot is the tallest. My point is, I made my build 7'1 because I wanted to have a little bit more athleticism. Now, if you're playing a 1v1 court, definitely I think the best post build is 7'3 because you're going to go against a lot of other centers and you want to be as big and as tall as possible. But I don't really make my build for the 1v1 court. I don't, I don't like the 1v1 court. It's boring to me. On the twos, on the threes, on the 5v5s, as a 7-1 center, most of the time, you're going to be taller than most people. Look, we're getting a little glitchy now with the, the fake spins, half spins, hop jumpers. This isn't a post-scoring build where you have to just bully your way in the paint and get dunks. Now, he can do that, as you've seen, you know, with drop steps and spins and stuff. But you don't have to. You can shoot the fade. You can shoot the hop jumpers. You can shoot the hooks. Obviously, listen, the hooks are super OP. You can literally spam hook shots. I, I know the, the more sweaty players watching this video know what I'm talking about. But the more casual players, post hooks are completely broken in this game. You can literally spam hooks all game on people and even if they contest it you'll still make it. it it doesn't make any sense but as you can see hop jumper right there the fades earlier in the video you can shoot any shot you want especially once you hit legend i mean i was having a ton of fun just because of the variety of ways you could kill people in the post it makes it fun it's like a, a game of chess you know what i mean you got to do this and then counter with that and then counter with this then they read the counter you got to counter with that it's it's a lot of fun to play now the lineup we're running is basically a lock and a post so it's super cheesy super sweaty but even making it even better is the fact that my uh swag is on a 6-6 shooting defending build but he can still handle the ball he upgraded his ball handling everything and he's super quick so it's like we can still run pick and roll and stuff it's not all up to me to score but even when it is i mean this dude you already saw him basically look like he was about to quit because he stopped moving on the inbounds and you know he's out of here now he's had enough so i'm not going to bore you with the gameplay against the computer i'm going to just show you look at post hooks like i said they're broken we make that so that's game 22 points that game i'm not going to bore you watching me beat up on the computer but listen this overall this build is a really good representation of how wilt played you have more athleticism than your typical post scoring build you can dominate it inside you still got the fade the hook the hop shot all that type of all those types of post moves you can still execute now that i'm a legend you know with the gold quick draw and everything it feels a lot like will it plays a lot like will it dominates a lot like will but listen as this gameplay wraps up i just want to say thank you if you're still watching you made it all the way to the end of the video i appreciate you you guys know we got this coronavirus going around and everything make sure you guys stay safe do what you got to do protect yourselves protect your family you know your loved ones all that protect everyone you know what i mean let's all just be safe make sure we make it through this thing but i appreciate all y'all sticking around to the end make sure you comment down below what other legend player builds you guys want to see i i have one more player i'm working on currently but i still have one more spot so let me know if you have a a good you know nba player or a legend you know former nba player or a legend that you want me to make as a legend build let me know i'll do my best to make that happen comment it down below appreciate y'all boys sticking around as you can see 99 overall legend wilt chamberlain build dominant as ever appreciate y'all i'm out peace